Good morning to all. Today my topic is atmosphere. In atmosphere, what is atmosphere? What it contains and what are the various layers of atmosphere? That is the topic for the today's session. I am Captain Rajendran from BS Medical Science. Metrology 1, we are going to talk about the particular broad motion. What is atmosphere? We all know that third atmosphere, the earth cannot stand. The earth is formed about 4.3 billion years ago and there is a lot of manipulations and a lot of things taking place. So now we are in the beautiful world in Sydney. So we will talk about the what is atmosphere. Atmosphere actually is a consist of it's a compressible air containing various gases. The gas, the atmosphere, it keep on changes depends upon the density and the height. What is the consist? What is the atmosphere consist of? You all know that atmosphere. Generally, we will talk about the atmosphere. We will say. Nitrogen is about 78 percentage, oxygen 21 percentage, and other gases 1 percentage. That's what we have studied during the school times. Atmosphere consists of 78 percentage, oxygen is 21 percentage, and various other gases is 1 percentage. So, but the atmosphere consists of exactly what is it? Nitrogen 78.1 percentage. Oxygen 20.9 percentage and your argo which is concerns 0 0.90. When you totally it, you see that almost 99.9 percentage all the gases are coming, including argo. The nitrogen is 78.1, oxygen is 20.9, almost 99, and argon is 0.9, this is 99.9. The rest all is 0.1 percentage. Out of 0.1 percentage, we have a carbon dioxide, which is the more one of the most in gases, which is twenty gases, that is 0 0.035, and the other gases of all like uh, neon, nitrous oxide, ozone, sulfur oxide, krypton, ammonia, helium, xenon, iodine, hydrogen, methane, these all the various gases, etc. 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 It is about 0 0.065. So, totally it is almost 100 percentage. So, this is the pie diagram just to give you a general idea about the atmosphere, what is contents. About, she that look at that CO2 0 0.036, oxygen is 20, 20 0.9, and your nitrogen is 70.1 almost, which is giving the general look at that. The CO2 is hardly nothing, it just contains only 0 0.035 percentage of total. The atmosphere, particular of the atmosphere, been divided into five categories. The category been divided on two bases one is the temperature, other one is the pressure. As all you know that aware that when height decreases, the pressure and temperatures down, reduces. You all know that because we have studied in school times, when height decreases, when you go to hill station down, when you go there, there will be a always temperature will be low. That's why during that summer vacation or during summer, especially in the hot, we are going to order the hill stations. You all are aware of that. Why? Because the temperature is low there. Why the Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu? Tamil Nadu the Tamil people goes to Kodakana Moti because the temperature keeps on reduces because it is almost 2.5 km height. That's why when height increases, the temperature falls down as well as the pressure because the wave hold the 
whole uh, atmosphere is crushing the earth. When you go away from the earth, because of the equatorial forces, it is getting less and less. That's why the temperature is reducing. That I have small example of you. Look at the diagram. Here you can see that. See, our earth is, this is a earth. When you look, these are a lot of molecules. There are a lot of molecules are there. Look at that. When here there is an equivalence, when you go away from the earth, when you are going higher and that the high, high, higher, higher and higher, higher and higher, the molecules all start getting less and less. When you come to, look at that, almost 400 kilometer, what is happening? Molecules are getting less molecules, one or two molecules are there. When the nearby, because of the equatorial forces, the molecules are very closer, the, the temperature is keep on transferring. Okay, keep, keep on transferring so that the temperatures is keep on reducing. When you go more and more, the equal forces because of the less equal to power, the molecules are separated, the heat cannot transfer, the volume is getting increasing. When volume increases, the temperature is faster. You all know that. Because you are sitting there during the school time. That's why when you go higher and higher, the molecules are getting less and less. So the cake, the temperature is keep on getting down. That is reducing. These are by look at the diagram, you can easily understand. So the atmosphere, the layer, the five vertical layers being divided into five categories. That is depends upon the temperature and the pressure. That's what we have seen. Now we'll go through what are the various particular of atmosphere. I'll come back to the diagram. This is the most important diagram, which is explaining the all the layers of the atmosphere. That is your the first layer which is from the earth is called troposphere. The second layer is a stratosphere. The third layer is a mesosphere. And the fourth one is a thermosphere. And fifth one is a exosphere. So I will come back again to the diagram when you are talking about the various layers of atmosphere in detail. Then finally I will come to the diagram and I will explain you. First, we are going to talk, discuss about the troposphere. The troposphere is the one of the first layer from the earth. It is approximately 0 to 18 km from the ground level. What is happening? All the weather phenomena, all the water weather changes is occurring in this region, in this particular area of the atmosphere. That is in the first layer. Almost 75 to 80 percent of water weather changes happening in the stratosphere, troposphere. The height increases as the temperature is passed down. That is the most important. Every one kilometer, the 6.5 degree temperature is passed down. That's why you see, look at that, the bamboo. You look at the climate in bamboo compared with the Chennai. The bamboo climate is always more 6 degree, less than the Chennai. Always. Why? People think that the climate is very low. No, climate is because the bamboo is situated somewhere else, 932 meters, almost one kilometer from the sea level. That's why the both 6 degree different is there always between Chennai and Bangalore. Look at that, what I call OT, any hill station. So every 1 kilometer, 6.5 degree temperatures per sound or 3 degrees centigrade every 1000 feet. 2 degree. Sorry, 2 degrees centigrade every 1000 feet. The thermal temperature remains steady in the height. It is called isothermal layer. Okay. Then the tropopus, the tropopus is the one which is the boundary between the troposphere and the stratosphere. The second layer is the stratosphere. The boundary between the troposphere and stratosphere is called tropopus. See, then look at the tropopus is 16 to 18 kilometer near the equator, whereas tropopus is near the pole, it is 8 to 9 kilometer. Why is it so? Why so much various? The whole 50 the various is there. We are comparing with the equatorial and polar. At equatorial, because of high evaporation, the tropopus, that all the evaporation because the, the layer is getting up. That's why it is about 68 km. Whereas the polar region, you know that the sun's light is not there, it's landing, 
that strain not much ever has taken place, the travel base on is less. At the other is under down. That's why it is 8 to 9 km in the polar region. Okay, the temperature at the top of us over the equator is less than the poles. You all know that because the top of us is less because it's a height. The height increases the temperature is falls down. So that's why near the top of the top of us, the temperature is less than the polar region. Okay, the equator drop of us colder than the polar drop of us because the equator drop of us is height is nearly twice the height of the polar drop of us. But we have seen what a why it is twice. That's what I have told you. So this is called first layer of drop of us. Drop of us pure. The drop of us is the boundary between the stratosphere and troposphere. So next we are going to discuss about the stratosphere. Stratosphere. Stratosphere is the second layer from the ground level. The first one is a troposphere which is 0 to 80 km. Next one is a stratosphere which is 80 to 50 km approximately. You when you go to the uh, there, when you search it, it will keep on varying. But that standard we say 0 to 80, 80 to 50, 50 to 85, 85 to 600, about 600. That's what we they have been approximately we have divided the layers. Okay, the second layer is from stratosphere, which is from to 18 km to 50 km. What is happening in the stratosphere? The stratosphere is one of the most important layer which is protecting the earth. You all know aware that the global because of global warming, the whole temperature, whole climate, seasonal, everything is taking place. So we are worried about the ocean layer. The ocean layer which is there about 25 to 35 km away from the land, earth, okay, which is 10, 25 to 30 km away from the earth surface, where the ozone, which is protecting the earth, the beautiful ozone, which is protecting the earth, lost 4.3 billion years. That is the layer which is lying there. So, the temperature, when you see that, the temperatures, they went high degrees of temperature falls down. When they come to last, I will come back to the diagram and let's get you. So, temperature is in the troposphere, it is just steady. Steady for because we are approaching the ocean layer. After as soon as we enter into the ocean layer, the temperature is shooting up. Because in ocean layer, you know very well what is happening. There is a concentration of the ozone molecules at about 25 km and absorb the ultraviolet radiation of sun, which is causes the increase of temperature in the layer because of the latent heat. The latent heat, whether it is releases or observers, it is changing the state. The ozone layer, due to the ozone, it is warming up the, it is observed the ocean, it is warming up the surrounding, that's why the temperature shoots up. So 25 to 35 km in the stratosphere, the temperature shoots up. Okay? You understood now? Because that, you all are me, sir, you told me that phenomena, the right height increases, the temperature is pulsed down. Whereas in stratosphere, the temperature is shooting up wide. This is the reason. The ozone layer, due to the latent heat releases, it is warming up. Because of the warming up layer, the temperature is shooting up. The temperature is increasing. That is the reason. Okay, that's what happening. The ozone layer which is prevents the earth. The stratosphere is a stable region with very low humidity and no weather occurs. Okay, it's a low humidity. That because it is warming up, so that's why humidity, what do you know humidity? The dry air. Humidity is the humidity. Suppose the air is contains dry as well as moist. But there is no much moist there because it's warming up. It's a dry air. That's why the humidity is less. However, there are type of cloud called nebulous mother of pearl cloud we can see from 20 to 30 km. Then you can see the very nice cloud 10 to 30 km because in the ocean layer. So this is called stratosphere. The third layer, we will come back to the third layer, mesosphere. Mesosphere is the third layer from the earth. After troposphere, second is stratosphere, the third one is a mesosphere. Mesosphere is about 50 to 85 kilometers. 52 85 km. Mesosphere again, then height increases, the temperatures fall down. As I, as I told you, keep on telling you. 
So the massage of body is happening again. The temperature start reducing because the height increases. The temperature fall down. The temperature start reducing. Where but whereas again, what is happening in the massage sphere? You know all that yet the, the space lot of decreases. The millions of decreases just already floating and it is revolving around the earth. Not the whole part. So what happens? That not decreases sometimes due to the equatorial forces. It comes fall down. So as soon as you enter the our massage sphere, it start breaking up. That is called we are saying lightning. The shooting light. When you say, when you see that oh God, light is coming small, start like a star. Okay, that is called shooting star. That is called shooting star. So where the space which is bigger to breaks up in the massage sphere. Again. I want to tell you that yes, temperatures fall down. The upper boundary of the massage sphere is called massage pass. As I told you, the boundary between the tropa sphere and strata sphere is called tropa pass. The boundary between the strata sphere and the massage sphere is called strata pass. The boundary between the strata sphere and the massage sphere is called massage pass. Again, how the temperature temperatures goes down? Till minus 1900 degree. Okay, this is what happening in the massage stream. That is the third layer from the ground down. The fourth one. We will talk about the fourth one. Fourth one layer is the thermosphere. The fourth one is called thermosphere. Thermosphere again. We have two layers. One layer is called ionosphere. Other one is called magnetosphere. My dear students, thermosphere, the fourth layer from the ground level, that ionosphere is the one which is affecting the all the magnetic waves, your electronic waves, your radars, your communication, VHF communication, all being affected in this layer thermosphere because they are off icons. What is happening thermosphere? We see thermosphere where the temperature rises. Why the temperature is keep on rising in the atmosphere? Because there is no much air molecules. The molecules are short less. When you go high degrees, molecules keep on separated, separated, and there is no equilibrium forces. So the molecules are very less in the atmosphere. The radiation directly shooting up. That's why the atmosphere, the temperature is again shooting up. In this layer, the temperature increases rapidly in the height due to absorbing much solar radiation. As I told, the solar radiation directly hitting the heating. That's why the temperatures keep on shooting up. The temperature increases up to 230 degrees centigrade. The ionosphere, that I told you, there are two layers there. One is called thermosphere, one is called ionosphere, one is called ionosphere. Ionosphere, you can see the beautiful auroras. Auroras, what is the polar region? From the polar region, you can see the lightning. Very beautiful light, colors of lights you will find in the Due to the thermosphere, aurora in the in this layer. The nitrogen oxygen absorbs harmful solar energy. As a result, the thermosphere, the temperature rises. Okay. In polar region, like I can't say it, energy as similar light is called aurora. As I told you earlier, beautiful aurora which is happening that is in the thermosphere. The ionosphere reflects the AM radio waves when conditions good, wave travel around the world. So. The thermosphere only, the magnetic waves and the electronic waves gets affected. Especially, we are all away from the land, we are away from the sea. The especially communication and electronic waves and all waves are affected in the ionosphere. That uh, it, it is not again D layer, E layer, F layer, that we will discuss in detail in other, other class because it comes under QBSS. So, as you know, that the electronic waves, radar waves all affected in the thermosphere. The radiation will bounce off in ionosphere and are sent back to the earth. The magnetosphere, again, the charged particles of magnetosphere are affected by the earth's magnetic field. So, in thermosphere, we got two layer, two layers again inside. One is called ionosphere, another is called magnetosphere. Ionosphere, again, I tell you, this the electromagnetic waves and the communications and radar transmission being affected by the ionosphere. And that may be the magnetosphere that is affected by the Earth's magnetic field. 
So it is about 85 km to 685 onwards to 600 650 km. The next last layer, again, which I told you that D layer, D layer, and F layer, which we will discuss in the next section, next class. Okay. We we'll talk about that. Last one is the exhaust pure. Exhaust pure. That is the furthermost layer of the atmosphere. The fifth one. First one is the troposphere, second is the stratosphere, third one is the mesosphere, fourth one is the thermosphere, and fifth one is the exosphere, which is beyond 650 km up to 64,000 km. Where there is no molecules are there. Where the satellites are orbiting around the earth. So, where the heat, the temperature goes up to 1000, 2000, 3000 degrees needed because there is a directly affected in the exosphere. So, the forest layer, about 645 to 624,000 km, is the outermost layer of the atmosphere. That's what I said. It is the fifth layer up from the ground level. The satellite orbit Earth in the exosphere, the air dwindles to nothing as molecules drift into the space. There is no molecules are there, so the temperature shoots up and nothing is there. So this is the fifth layer of the exosphere. Now, we already studied about the, all the five vertical layers of the atmosphere. Now, I want to come back to the diagram which I shown you earlier. I told you in the class, beginning only in the class, I told you already. The diagram only, now I am going to look at the diagram, you will understand how the temperatures keep on varying and, okay, let's see. Okay. Now look at the diagram. Now look at the diagram. Now clearly we come to know. The x axis says about the temperature and the y axis talking about the altitude, the height. Okay. From the ground level, the first one, the troposphere. Look at the troposphere. As I told you earlier, the troposphere is from 0 to 20, 18 to 20 kilometers. So what is happening in the troposphere? The height increases, the temperature falls down. So it is temperature is keep on falling down up to minus 40, 45 degree. That's what you are seeing that in diagram. So the tropopause is the, as I told you earlier, the tropopause is the boundary between the stratosphere and the troposphere. So tropopause, what is happening? The tropopause, as I told you, the tropopause is near the polar, it is about 8 to 9 kilometer, near the equator, it is about 16 to 20 kilometers. That's what they are 16 to 80 kilometers. That's what we saw in the last one. Slide. Okay. So when now come to the drop of us and it's about 60 to 8 km, what is happening? If the, the temperature just keep on steady. Why oh, see? Look at that. Because it's not falling down. The height increases, the temperature is falling down. Instead of falling down, the temperature is just steady. Why? Because we are approaching the ozone layer. The ozone is the which is presented in the stratosphere, which is present available 25 to 35 km, which is protecting our beautiful earth. Yes lying in the sort of stratosphere. So, it is steady because we are applying the ocean layer. As soon as we enter the ocean layer, the temperature is shooting up. So, the temperature is increasing. It is not falling down. Why? Because of the latent heat. Due to the latent heat, that is warming up the surrounding, the temperature is shooting up. That is what you are seeing clearly. The temperature is again see from the minus 40 degree, steady for some times. Again, it goes to almost 0 degree. It is increasing because of the ozone layer, which is warming up the surrounding. That's what happening. Now, stratopause, as I told you earlier, it is a boundary between the mesosphere and the stratosphere. So now we come to the mesosphere. As I told earlier, as I told our phenomena, as our concept, when the height increases, the temperature falls down, the molecules are getting less. Of course, the height increases, the temperature falls down, which is happening in the mesosphere again. This temperature keep on falling down again because the heat cannot be transferred. The molecules are very less, the volume is getting more and more bigger, so the temperature is keep on falling down. That's what is happening in the mesosphere. Starting from about 50 to 85 km, the mesosphere, the temperature is falling down 
approximately minus 90 degrees centigrade. That's what you are seeing very clearly in the diagram. The fourth layer is your thermosphere. See again, the, the height is the temperature per zone, whereas here the temperature is shooting up because there is no molecule. When there is a molecule sir, there, how the temperature can be transferred? It cannot be transferred because there is a big volume. So, there is no, cannot be, there no molecule, enough molecules are there because it is away, almost 85 km away from the land, equity force is not there. So, molecules are less. So, the sun directs and then the radiation which is directly hitting the atmosphere that is your tropos thermal thermosphere. That's what the temperature I get showing. So the whole diagram is talking about the how the temperatures rising and falling. And I explained to the class very clearly how it is falling down, how it is rising up. So thermosphere it is shooting up. Again, why you not put the exosphere? After the atmosphere, it is up to 60 km, exosphere 600 km to beyond 64,000 km where the sun gets there. Of course, no molecules are there. Of course, 100% the temperature will again rise to 100 degree, 200 degree, 300 degree, up to 500,000, etc. Because radiation directly affecting the exosphere. So, you all understand now all the five layers of particular air of the atmosphere. Okay, thanks.